decided to do a DTS because um, I had known for a long time that I was called into missions and um, doing a DTS and then getting involved in YWAM seemed a really good way of kind of working that out basically, the DTS and it seemed really straightforward and yeah, that's amazing. My highlight was um, getting just a real revelation of God's grace and that God's love is unconditional. And I think um, I saw a lot of the leaders were amazing. They just really, um, really magnified um, God's grace. And um, there was a, just a big, I think a huge, it's something I thought I'd always understood but I actually didn't. And yeah, so that would be the big highlight, yeah. The most challenging thing would have been um, co-leading the, the outreach team to, um, we went to South Africa. So co-leading that work was challenging, mainly um, just because I think I had always seen myself as quite a timid person and being a student and taking on that role was also quite challenging. And I had to really kind of step up and kind of push aside what people thought about me and was really, really dependent on God's grace a lot. Like I was completely dependent on God. I think, yeah, like I think when you when you give out, when you lead a DTS or do something like that, and you're giving out, then you do grow yourself. And so definitely, from that perspective, that was part of the reason why I came, yeah. And also because I love to see um, people really grow and get a deeper revelation of who God is and really mature in their faith and, and get a revelation of who they are in Christ, so. Because um, I think it really, provides an opportunity to really um, grow and be really stretched in your relationship with God um, outside of your comfort zone and you're placed in a situation where you have to depend on God and that's when you see God come along and do amazing things and things that just blow your mind. Yeah.